So, Jaybird here, trick to find inspiration. Get out in nature. Get outside the classroom, get outside the room, your dorm room, your apartment, whatever. If you have a park space near you, if you even have a backyard, if you have some trees nearby, get out in nature. That's where you'll get inspired. That's where you figure out your purpose in the world. Just go out in nature with a pad and pencil, pad and pen, whatever, and just work out what makes you happy. Go out, do just do a thought experiment. Just, you know, talk out loud, out loud, do what you have to do. Just say to yourself, okay, what do I like doing day to day? What do I like? What makes me happy in the simplest, in the simplest form? And how can I do that? And more importantly, how, what can I avoid? You know, situations, circumstances, careers, whatever. What can I avoid to, you know, not put me in a place that I don't want to be? And that doesn't jive with my morals, ethics, and personality. So once you do that, I mean, the whole world will change. Your, your outlook will change. The way you see things, the way things are just brought to you, is, it, it becomes amazing. So once you find your life purpose, once you find what makes you happy, you choose to flip on that happiness. And it's, it's, it's such an amazing feeling. So, that's essentially all I wanted to say, is in order to get inspiration, you have to be outside in nature. You're not going to get inspiration by being in some lecture hall, you know, being talked at by some professor about the economy of Indonesia in the 1472 it doesn't mean, you know, okay, yeah, you can learn facts and blah, 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 and you can be clever, but that doesn't mean you'll be wise or smart or intelligent. You can learn facts till your, so your wee-wah does a wee-wah, but you're not going to get anywhere. So what you want to do is go outside in nature. Like before, I was just watching these birds. I was thinking of these grasses today, watching these grasses on the shore, and thinking, you know, what's the purpose of these? I know they might, you know, supply a, a home for uh, animals you know um, you know shore creatures and saltwater crabs and things like that snails hermit crabs but they it doesn't seem like they don't they do other, much other than that so then I decided okay I'm just gonna watch these I'm gonna study these grasses I'm gonna take the time and just observe them and look at them and then I find out that there's this bird this tiny little wren looking bird that eats, that pecks at the center of the grasses and either eats the inside of the grasses, uh, sort of like bamboo kind of grasses, or it eats insects that are inside. But basically my point is, is that if you take time to look at nature, look at stuff other than human constructed buildings or uh, flooring or, you know, you get outside, you, you know, you, our classrooms, our lecture halls, our suburban communities, and even our cities are sort of um, sens sensory deprivation tanks. So, in other words, that what I mean by that is we're put into these environments that are not natural, and they don't—they're not conducive to intelligence, human intelligence. You know, this is conducive to human intelligence: being outside, being in, feeling the cold, smelling the the fall air, hearing the birds in the background. Hearing the crickets, seeing the sun go down, that's all conducive to human intelligence, and that's where the real learning will take place. So if you have to read a book, read outside. If you got to eat lunch, go outside. You know, it's super easy, and I know I'm not the only one feeling this, so if you feel it, like this video. If you dislike this video, fine. Let me know in the comments why. And uh, if, you, if you get the same feeling, put it in the comments down below so I can... Um, so others can see that it's not just crazy, uh, me with banana hair. So subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. This is Jaybird signing out. See you soon. Remember to carve up if you want to live longer. Be the best you. Lose the animal products. Lose the bullshit. Right? Get happy. Get healthy. Peace.